Hello, welcome to the National Literacy Agency online storytelling program. I the storia, tell me a story. Today I have a short English fable for you. A fable is a short story with a learning and the characters in the story are animals. The title of this fable is The Fox, The Wolf and The Lion. So it is story time. You look and you listen. Well done. In the olden days, animals ruled supreme. Unfortunately, the lion was very, very ill. It was in a sorry state. The lion was not able to watch over his subjects at work. He had to stay in bed. And what do you know? The cunning fox stopped working altogether. He was running in the fields and over the dales and he was spending his days in the country. Well, the wolf was very, very annoyed at this behaviour. Or maybe I should say he was jealous, for he too would have liked to work less and enjoy leisure trips in the forest fool that he was. He could have done just that. But no, he took it upon himself and he went to the lion. The lion was very pleased to see the wolf and in a low voice he said, What brings you here, my friend? What brings you here? That good-for-nothing fox, he's doing nothing at all, he is not doing his job. He's running in the fields and over the dales and spends days in the country. He is not doing his job. And that made the lion very angry. So the lion summoned the fox before him and in a low voice he asked what is it this that i hear about you why aren't you doing your job oh but i am i am doing honorable work whined the fox in protest. I'm searching for medication for a sick lion. Well, did you find anything? No, but I was just about to. There was this huge spider in the corner of a very old barn. When it was just going to tell me something about a cure for a lion. Mm. The lion was very pleased to hear about a cure, to hear about medication. He had been ill for quite a long time now. So again, in a low voice, he told the fox, You speak in a silver tongue. Go, go and find the spider and make sure that you find cure. Make it tell you how I can be better. Bring me medication. And the cunning fox left. He was so happy. He was travelling here and travelling there. 
The wolf had nothing to say, for the lion believed the fox, and he was waiting for a cure. He was waiting for medication. One day, the fox came back, and he went to the lion. The lion was even more sick. But he was so happy when he saw the fox. Did you bring me medication? Did you bring me a cure? And the fox smiled and nodded. And he said, The spider advised that if we had the wolf skinned and we place his skin on where it hurts you most, you would heal immediately. You would soon recover. And the lion summoned the wolf before him and he had him skinned there and then. And the old cunning fox just walked away. And that is the end of our fable today. Do you really believe that the wolf skin was going to heal the lion? I don't think so. But as a cunning fox, he sure got rid of the wolf for telling. I do hope you enjoyed this fable today. So until the next story, bye bye for now.